Hello friends, welcome to my channel Info Plug. Today I will discuss about the basic terms, basic knowledge of MS Excel, which you must need to know before using MS Excel or before learning MS Excel. So let's start. So you can see number of blocks are there. See, we call it a cell. Okay, this is one cell, second cell. So this all are we call cell. You can see A, B, C, D written over here. If you will go this side and we call it columns. And if you will come downwards, one, two, three, four, five, these all are rows. So these all are columns and these all are rows. Okay, so if I will select these cells, so these are called selected cells. Now the second is how to open an MS Excel file. Let's suppose you are working on it and you want to open some another file. Okay, so you have to go to file option. You can see here file. Just click on it. Then you can see open option. Open. Then you will see the different files which are made by me of MS Excel. You can open any of the file. So I will go back. So this was the way you can open another MS Excel file by not uh, existing from this file you can just directly go to file and then open okay so the next is how to save a file let's suppose you have uh, you want to save a file so there are two options to save a file first is shortcut method so shortcut method is you have to click on control and s if you will click on control and S button on your keyboard at the same time, then your file will get saved. Okay, so and the second option is go to file uh, and uh, these two options are save and save as. If this is your first file, you want to save it then you have to click on save as and you have to name your file but if you have already named your ms excel file and you're working on it you have to add it and after that you have to save you don't have to uh, use a save as button you just have to click on save button that was the shortcut of control s okay so this is our new file so we'll click on save as button okay and these are the options from uh, with these are the options in which you can save your file since i have already saved this file with the name info plug so i will use save option button so it will automatically save so the next option is deleting an excel file so to delete your excel file you just have to exit from this file and if you have save it on desktop or uh, wherever you have save it just go there right click from your mouse click on delete button or just select that file or click on delete it will delete your MS Excel file. Second point is how to add a new worksheet. Now you don't know about worksheet. See, you can see sheet one over here. This we called as a worksheet. If you will click on this plus button, new sheet will appear. Sheet one and sheet two. You don't have to just uh, open a new file for such a few things if you uh, want to save your file if you want to save your data in one ms excel sheet 
so you just have to click on sheet one sheet two you can add number of sheets here okay so next point is how to rename your sheets worksheet so let's suppose i want to name my sheet one as info plug so i will click on it and right click button just press a right click button from your mouse and you can see there are many options you can use rename it and just to delete that sheet one written over here and you have to write this i'm writing info plug here or you can type anything and next option to rename this file is let's suppose i want to rename sheet 2 so i will double click on it and i will delete that sheet to return in this and i will write just suppose i want to add i want to write how to add whatever name you want to get you can write over here okay so uh, next thing is if you want to delete your worksheet let's suppose i want to delete my sheet number 3 so i will click on sheet 3 it will open and if i will uh, right click on it and if i will click on delete button you can see it will get deleted so this is how we can add worksheet we can rename it and how we can delete okay so the next part is see if you want to write anything over here okay and you forgot to write something in between and you want to add column so just select if you want to select this just click your cursor over here you can see the arrow button i put a cursor on number 2 and it will show arrow button just click on it it will select your whole column and go to insert you can see here insert insert cells is written over here so just click on insert cells and you can see the column full column is inserted okay so if you want to insert rows let's suppose you want to write something and you want to insert in between of these things so i will put my cursor on b you can see again it has become an arrow button and i will click on it so it will select my row and again i will go to insert button drop down it and click on insert cells so you will get another row if i want to add here i can click on it then go to insert then insert cells you can add number of columns and number of rows whenever you want okay so if you want to delete a row let's suppose i want to delete this row so again i will select from this and i will right click on it and i will click on delete so it will delete the row full row let's suppose i want to delete this column number 3 so i will click on it right click then click on delete button see it will delete another method to delete this is click on it select it 
and you can say just before just after insert button you can see delete option delete cells so it will delete cells and if you want to delete row or whatever you want to delete you can go from there or you can right click it will uh, delete your rows and columns whatever you want to delete so the next thing is let's suppose i have written something over here okay and by mistake it got deleted okay so you don't know what was written over here and you forgot and you want that back again so you just have to click on control and z button i am writing over here control plus z if you will click on control and z button at the same time your data will come back okay and uh, if you want to copy this cell just click on it let's suppose i want to copy info plug i will click on it then right click then copy and if i want to paste it over here then right click button and then paste now you can see paste options over here paste special if you are writing any values and something else then it will really help you but now it is just a simple text and i want to paste as it is so i will click on this button so you can see it will paste here so i am telling you the shortcut method of pasting to copy you can uh, press control plus c button if you want to copy a cell and to uh, paste any cell you have to click on control plus v to paste anything let's suppose i am copying it control c button and i want to paste it here control v see so these are the some basic things of ms excel so uh yeah next step is if you want cut your data let's suppose i want to cut this cell and i want to paste it uh, in another cell i don't want to copy it i just want to cut it okay so again there are two options first of all i will select right click from a mouse i will select cut option then i will click on this cell i told you how to paste two methods right click or you can use shortcut method that is control v so i am using control v button and you can see there is no data here and i pasted on this cell so it has come here so let's suppose if you want to cut this so i will use another method i will first of all click on it right click cut and paste yeah sorry there is another method shortcut method i didn't tell i repeat that same sorry about that for a uh, shortcut method you have to click on control and x button i'm writing over here it 
control plus x button on your keyboard so i'm using control x button i want to paste it here control v so you can see <coughs> okay so uh, now let's uh, type something let's suppose i'm writing roots vegetables okay i want to make it in a center i want my fruit in a center so you can see this option that is called alignment if i will put a cursor you can see center i want to uh, put my content on center then i will click here you can see my content is now at center this is left it goes left then right center right then you can use this if you have big data this is align top middle align and bottom align so this is called alignment if i want to put vegetables in the center it will also move to center so now let's do formatting let's suppose i want to make it in a bold vegetables okay so i will click on vegetables cell you can see b written over here if you put a cursor you will get shortcut method also or you can click on b button shortcut method is control plus b so if i will click on b it will get bold and if i will use shortcut method that is control plus b it will also get bold if i want to make it in a italic control plus i button or you can click on this button it will move to italic also then if you want to make it underline control plus u button or click on this button and you can see so uh, now let's suppose you want to make it a border you want to make a border let's suppose i'm writing mango apples cherry okay and vegetables lady finger potato and onion you can see when i write lady finger so my uh, r is not uh, uh, visible so i will just take my cursor over here at the middle of c and d and it will become plus sign and i will just drag a letter so that my r is visible okay it will get visible so you can drag as much as you want so that you will be able to show your content and you can draw or drag it back okay so now let's make it in a border let's suppose i want this all my data to convert to show in a border i will select and you can see the box over here bottom border it is i will click on the drop down button i want all borders or so i will click on it you can see in every cell 
that all cells are occupied with borders. If I will select all and I, again I will go to this button. If I only want outside borders, wait, I will have to remove that also. So I will do control Z to undo that. See, my borders are vanished. Let's suppose I want to make it outside border. Select that. Click on outside border. If you want to make it a thick outside border, you can click that also. There are many options of border over here. So I'm selecting thick outside borders. That will look nice. See, you can see the thick border outside over here. Okay. And now if you want to select any of the cell and you want to make it in a color, if you want to make your text in any of the colors, you can see a over here font color, we call it a font color. So click on this drop down button and you can choose any of the button. You can see the color will change. Let's suppose I'm selecting this and I'm selecting apples and red color. Okay, so you can make any changes. You can make your content in any color. You can uh, select any of the cell and you can change it to any color, your text. But if you want your full cell to convert in any of the color, then you can see this option here, fill color. Click on it. Let's suppose I want to make it in a green color and select green. You can see my content is as usual in black color, but my cell converts into a green color. Okay, so if you want to make more than one cell to color, you have to select. Click on it and select here let's suppose i just want to select these two and i want to make it a different text color let's suppose i'm making it this and i want the cell to be different color so these two are converted into different text color that is font color and cell has changed to another color okay now if you want your all formatting whatever you have done it uh, you made it uh, bold italic underline you colored a cell and text also so i am clicking on this I'm selecting all these. Okay, so you have to right click on your mouse. Click on it. Click on this button. Clear. If you want to clear formatting, so click on clear formats. See, your data is pure clean. No color, no bold, no italic. So these are the basic functions which you must know about MS Excel, which will really help you. And there are many other functions which are very useful. So I will make another video. So till then, if you like my video, don't forget to subscribe, like and share.
थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स